Welcome everyone, let's take a look at how can we set up the Revolut joint between these two suspension links. This uh, geometry was created in SOLIDWORKS, then we saved it as a parasolid and now we can import it into Femap. In Femap we're gonna set up the link as a Revolut joint, we're gonna use RBEs, re uh, rigid body elements, and uh, yeah, let's get started. So, once we imported it, uh, you should delete or at least hide the, if you have more than uh, the necessary solids that you need to work with. If you're not gonna mesh them, then it's fine if you just uh, hide them. Uh, we need that one, this one we need, we don't need that one, that one, and that one, right? And we need this one we said yeah so these are the only two that we need the other ones you should either delete them or hide them but make sure you don't mesh them if you don't want to model them because if you mesh them then when you go to run your analysis and you didn't make sure that the uh, the mesh connects between all of them your uh, model will never be in uh, equ equilibrium so you it will just keep giving you errors so if you don't want it delete it or hide it and make sure you do not accidentally mesh it leave it unmeshed because then it doesn't matter it it can just stay there okay so these are the two uh, pieces that I'm gonna model and uh, we do not need the pin in the middle because that's simply going to be replaced by the RB connections, the spiders. They're going to take its place and it's going to kind of mimic its behavior. Okay. So first, let's get started by setting up our material. Uh, if you want to do it with two different materials, go for it. If not, you know, it depends what project you're working with. For us, we're just going to set it up with one material, M1. We're gonna set uh, 70 E9.33 and put here maybe a thousand. Okay, cancel. Next up, let's do the properties. So, model property. I'm dealing with two solids, so I'm gonna pick element type solid. Okay, uh, material, the one we just defined, title solids and that's it next uh, let's go ahead and mesh if you want to control the mesh how fine or coarse it is then you should go and mesh control and seed it first size on solid right now i don't care how it's gonna go so you can go straight to geometry and solids this one and this one both of them I feel lucky so go ahead and mesh it however you feel I'm telling the software I'm gonna pick the less accurate uh, option the where I take click off the mid side nodes this one will make uh, it uh, model with the linear shape functions remember in theory we had the uh, I and J at the beginning and at the end of the element if you click the mid side the nodes that also includes a K node in the middle of that element and then you would use like a quadratic shape functions which are more accurate I don't want uh, I'm not going for accuracy here we're just modeling if you are going then you should keep that checked uh, solids the ones that we just defined okay and there you have it not that bad very good I like it now let's go ahead and set up the RBE element. I'm gonna go to model element type rigid. Okay, I'm gonna use RBE2. These are rigid type. They uh, wherever you put them, like uh, if I pick this surface, then that surface completely becomes a rigid surface from all these elements. If you work with the RBE3 interpolation kind, these will allow. Uh, to for the surface to be more malleable more deformable versus RB2 which makes the surface completely rigid no deformation no nothing will happen to it okay I'm here I'm using RB2s and uh, know that the center uh, I do not have a master node 
that I can select therefore I will simply let the software determine it based on all the dependent nodes that I will select and uh, I'm gonna select it based on the surface I'm gonna in here that's not the one I want maybe I'll hide one of them that one but uh, maybe hide the mesh hide the nodes there you go now we can see it better there you go I wanna on this surface and this surface cool highlight to make sure good okay this is let's give it a different color so we can uh, uh, you know distinguish them and uh, da -da -da, that should be it this here you need to specify what uh, motions do you want the dependent nodes to copy from their master the independent one okay I want them to copy everything okay and let's set it up on the other side as well so node on surface this side and that side okay highlight to make sure good okay and same thing all good node at the center same color to match okay cancel there you go now let's see where are they turn back the the elements the nodes and if we turn go to element by type turn off the solid elements turn off the geometry there you go now we can see only the RBEs left right we can see our nice spiders that we've created very good now let's set up the spider on the other solid that one which one is that one nope not the pin we said this one this guy yep so this one and we're gonna hide this one now good so another our model element RB2 the node at the center nodes pick it on the surface I want on that surface and that surface uh, let's highlight it yep I like it looks good looks good and okay uh, let me pick a different color maybe blue okay and that should be it cancel now uh, let's hide this one too and there you go all my nice uh, spiders <laughs> they look good like a brush or something now we need to make sure we connect our masters to each other we have three master nodes right here here and here so we're gonna connect them with go to model property element property type and a C bush spring damper generalized element generalized sp uh, spring damper element the C bush this one sp click on it C bush right there and we can call it if we look at it let's see let me turn these back on uh, and da, 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 da. looks like our axis of revolution is along the x-axis right so there you go so I'm gonna call it uh, revolute uh, let's put a big X there so I know it's about the x-axis and uh, we selected the type so now in order to make sure that we allow only rotation around the x-axis we need to make sure that we set here the appropriate values like um, we do not want any translation therefore the, for the stiffness in the one two three which is translation in x translation in y translation in z I'm gonna put a very high uh, stiffen stiffness value and uh, I want rotation around the X which is number four I'm gonna leave that zero and around the uh, uh, Y and Z again I do not want anything happening so I'm gonna put high numbers over here uh, you can put a small value of whatever would be representative of your actual joint here but I will run a normal modes analysis on this one 
therefore it helps us to have a zero because that way we can detect that the very first frequency that we're going to see is going to be near zero therefore justifying that we set up our uh, joint correctly and it will see that we'll run one a normal mode analysis and you will be able to judge for yourself that hey we set up and it's moving the correct way okay so that's about it for here cancel this out let's uh, go ahead and constrain this somewhere maybe this side let's say this side would be fixed to something right so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that constrain that so let's go model constrain on surface uh, boundary condition okay and let's pick the, this surface and this surface they would be joined or fixed against something all right so let's see call it wall mm, fixed yeah fine okay there you have it there's our F's and we can see our rigid body elements very good Oh, but one thing we didn't do yet, we need to set up where, we, we've set up our spring uh, property, but we need to go ahead and actually tell the software where are they. We need to connect our masters uh, together, right? So go to model, element, here pick the type, spring damper, which already there from the previous uh, work. Uh, property pick the revolute x that we just defined and make sure you pick the your uh, master nodes so I'm gonna pick for this location I'm gonna pick this guy and for this location I'm gonna pick this guy okay here they are visible so uh, you can actually click on them and uh, we are setting up another one revolute x again make sure you click on this one this one here gonna have this one okay there you go and you can see the spring symbol appear right in both locations if these two uh, masters would be on top of each other then you would uh, check check out our previous videos on uh, setting up revolute joints and other joints and uh, you'll see the technique how to deal with those and uh, over here that should be it so we are finally ready to run a normal modes analysis to convince ourselves that the motion that we're gonna have the free unconstrained motion is the one that we actually want right so let's uh, model analysis new call it uh, whatever one two three and make sure you pick here the number two normal modes okay and go for it analyze and if we didn't goof up anything then we should get some good results come on um, there you go complete no error awesome all right let's go to results all results and here you go what do we see here if this thing would not be constrained like we did here with the fixed anywhere then we would see six the first six uh, modes to be near zero which means that the first six rigid body motion the trans t three translations and the three rotations wouldn't be not constrained and you would have six frequencies here that would show that you are not constrained in those six uh, directions right but what do we see only one is near zero 0 0.0069 and if you look at the next one 2958 significantly larger right so let's click on this guy and animate it and le let's see there you go see we see the rigid body is moving let's uh, turn these off there you go there you go nice nice and uh, this one yeah there you go maybe turn off the geometry nice there you go so we can see that the only 
the first uh, frequency that's near zero, it uh, showing us exactly the motion of the revolute joint that we want. We do not want to cancel this out. This is the one we wanted. Very good. Now, once you made sure that uh, this uh, you know setup is working properly, you can uh, come back to your revolute. You can edit it. And now you can actually maybe you know you have some friction, you have some stiffness, damping, whatever other information you have for this uh, joint, you can enter it and see it how it would uh, behave in the realistic manner that you're trying to visualize, right? But w by putting zero and running a normal mode analysis, you can visually see that it will do what you want. Okay, alrighty. Well, that should be it for today. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and tune in for the next one.